this artist got doxxed because people on Twitter got offended over this. No, I'm not joking. And yes, that's the MS Paint toolbar. What the f am I even looking at right now? Twitter slash X really is just a cesspool of just the most toxic and pointless arguments I've ever seen. And sometimes I wonder if I'm just as toxic and pointless since I'm constantly engaging with this stuff on my timeline. But I can't help it. Sometimes I just see some really fucked up shit and I have to talk about it with all of you. Everyone knows what MS Paint is, right? You don't need to be a professional artist to be aware of the basic default art program that every computer is installed with. Like, I'm pretty sure there's going to be plenty of people watching this video who have either used or at least know what MS Paint is. So what the heck is all of this nonsense about doxing over a simple art program that was mainly used for memes and shit posting in the early 2000s. Well, everyone, this is Hiki. Hiki is an MS Paint artist and they were a relatively small Twitter account that would just post work in progress or, you know, rendered versions of their art commissions that they drew in MS Paint. And you know what? Their art's really cute. Honestly, this really does remind me of early 2000s and I think there might be some of you watching this video who might feel some nostalgia seeing this kind of art. Now, unfortunately, while many of you might be feeling nostalgic, I'm sure there's probably, you know, that random one guy who's watching this video getting like filled up with rage and seething over something like this. I honestly don't know why seeing something like this would make someone so upset that they'd go out of their way to harass another person because, well, it's literally just a drawing. Basically, Hiki tweeted out this. Can't believe I'm getting docs because I screenshot my art with a toolbar. This is such a silly reason. Please, whoever is trying to change my password in all accounts I own and getting access to personal information, stop. I have literally done nothing to deserve this. Also, signing me into a lot of trading and gambling sites, even porn sites, WTF, bro tried hard. And uh, yeah, that's pretty yikes. Like when I first saw this, I was really confused and thought that this had to be some bait post because a lot of people on Twitter these days, especially in the VTubing scene, tend to make up stories about them getting harassed so they can get a couple of likes on Twitter. And it's hard to tell if they're bait posts or not because more often than not, people who make them don't show any evidence of them actually being harassed or sometimes they just make very vague and baseless tweets about something to garner sympathy from people because it does work and I see it happening all the time. And I wasn't the only one who was confused about this. There were people in the comments asking for a clarification because it honestly didn't make a lot of sense. But before I can really explain what happened, I need to take a moment to explain MS Paint. Like, I know you know what MS Paint is, but how many of you actually understand what MS Paint is? Because I honestly don't didn't since I've never used it before and it wasn't until after I saw this tweet that I decided to look into MS Paint and like there's a whole ass aesthetic that's really popular right now using MS Paint. Like it's wild. Now here's the thing with MS Paint is that it is a simple art program. You're not going to be able to get fully rendered drawings like in Photoshop or Illustrator, or Clip Studio Paint or Procreate, yada, yada, yada. You know, all those other complex art programs. Like the most you can do in MS Paint that's considered fancy is having a layer function in the program. And I know that probably sounds like it should be a basic feature, but that's what I mean. That's like literally the most fanciest thing you can do in MS Paint. So with that being said, a lot of artists don't consider MS Paint as a legitimate art program. Well, until recently, because I think there's been a lot of MS Paint artists on the rise who have been showing off their really like cool and interesting art pieces that you can create just with MS Paint. Like I said, I thought people used MS Paint to make shitty, funny little drawings or memes, but from what I can tell, people have been really expanding 
and showing off their skills on what you can accomplish with such a simple art program. And see, this isn't the only person showing their toolbar in their screenshot. Personally, as an artist, I think there's nothing wrong with showing the toolbar of whatever art program you're using. Like literally, I see people do it with Clips Video Paint or Procreate or Photoshop like all the time. I think the importance of showing the toolbar of what art program you're using is a good thing because a lot of people will constantly ask you, what program are you using? What's your brush settings? This and that. And you know, it gets really annoying after like the 100th comment asking the same thing. Also, I think, you know, showing the toolbar kind of like tells other people like, hey, look at what I was able to achieve using this program. Like I was using this program. And I think that's pretty fascinating. Like, I honestly can't believe that somebody actually made this in MS Paint. Like, I don't know. I probably would have called BS on it too, but like still, I think it's actually really cool. I'm low-key jealous. Now, how does this all relate to this really incriminating drama that I mentioned earlier? Because doxing is not legal. It's not a good thing. It's very bad. Well, I think there's been this like rise of MS Paint artists and some of them are doing a really fantastic job. In fact, too fantastic because I've been speculating that a lot of people probably don't believe that these artists are actually using MS Paint. Like I said, a lot of them will take screenshots of their art within the art program. So that way, you know, you know that they're using that program and when you do that, you're going to see the toolbar in that screenshot. Now, this is important because Iki does exactly this and he gets attacked for it constantly. Like looking at some of the comments people say about Hiki's art is pretty telling, I think. And like, look at this. Just to be clear for new followers, the purpose of my art is to not look high quality at all. I like experimenting and posting things without feeling obligated to be perfect. I just like messy, old style, unfinished look. Some look finished while others are still very sketchy. And this was in response to this right here because of this whole entire comment thread here. Like this person was saying, I hate this artist because they always take the time to screenshot their art with a MS Paint toolbar. And Yiki responds saying, why does this make you hate me? And then they responded, I like your art a lot. It's awesome. But I'm just a bit disheartened that there are never any high quality versions provided anywhere. If there was, I would have no issue with how you do things now. And then Hiki responds with this saying, it's actually the highest quality. I take screenshots because it looks aesthetic, but the quality is never lost. If you zoom in, you can see every pixel. And this is just one of the many cases of other people just constantly attacking this artist. And I decided to only read that one because it's the most tamed one. A lot of them are uh, pretty bad. <laughs> But this right here tells me that even though Hiki's Twitter account is starting to gain popularity because, you know, MS Paint artists, like what? There's just a lot of people who probably are assuming he's going to post really polished and high rendered artwork when that's not the type of artist he is at all. And because he's not that type of artist, they're like getting disappointed or upset or disheartened. Like, little bro, shut the f up you the only thing you are disheartened by is the fact that this 18 year old can actually whip out some really decent artwork meanwhile you managed to struggle drawing stick figures or something like there's no way you are disheartened by a screenshot little bro like tell me you're jealous without telling me you're jealous so fast forward to the next day you know on september 25th geeky posted his tweet telling people about him getting doxxed and then other people commenting like how bro it's just a toolbox and um, apparently someone got access to their email and started signing them up for all sorts of weird websites. And, you know, I don't know if you realize this, but having access to someone's email is really scary because you can find out a lot of personal information, which means it's very, very easy to dock someone that way. And like, I understand that this tweet was really confusing to a lot of people because you can't actually find find any doxing information from a screenshot, you know, showing the MS Paint toolbar. But that's not what Hiki was actually saying in his tweet. What he was actually saying was that because of all the constant harassment he was getting for his artwork, that he believes there's some delusional weirdo who decided to just take this personally and then hack their email and start doing all this crazy stuff. And you know what the craziest thing about this entire situation? There are people in the 
comments section that are saying that he deserves it and like literally how you know he deserves worse and it's just mind-boggling how salty people are on twitter slash x over a drawing a drawing like listen here i've been trying to draw an ms paint in this entire video so far and look at this. It looks terrible. I mean, my art isn't really the greatest anyways, in my opinion. I don't really draw that much. I'm a very casual artist and sometimes I do commissions here and there, but like, I don't know. Drawing in MS Paint is not easy and I think I will stick to Clip Studio Paint because I like having a lot of control over my brushes and being able to get a lot more detailed with my work. And like, I wish I had at least half a brain cell to be able to draw something as nice as some of the other MS Paint artists in this community. So I honestly have massive respect for anyone who can turn this into something like this. Now, obviously with all this happening, it's way past the actual date of that tweet, right? So, you know, I waited a few days before making this video because I didn't want to potentially add more fuel to the fire in this very sensitive situation. And I also wanted to wait to see if things improved. Sadly, with Hiki, it kind of seemed like the harassment got really bad over the past several days since his initial tweet. For everyone DMing me nice stuff, thank you, but sorry, I'm not answering. I can't tell if you're real or you'll threaten me once I reply. I'm sorry. Yes, it's still because I screenshot my art with the MS Paint toolbar. And this is a little screenshot saying, are you female? No, who are you? And it's an animal cruelty video. And wow. Um, then there is this. That's a photo of of Hiki. Wow. Okay. So they found a photo of Hiki, you know, just a normal artist on Twitter who, yeah, I guess, you know, isn't allowed to have any social media profile because, you know, face reveals. Ooh. And yeah. Unlisted video from my private YouTube channel. How did they find this? My full name. Please note that your Google account is not safe. You should start setting money aside for your mother's funeral. Kind regrets. That is really messed up to say to someone. Holy cow. All because of an email thingy? Email hacking is really terrifying. Please change your passwords. And yeah, I still will leave my DMs open since I read a lot of nice things I think are genuine, but I can never be sure. Also guys, commissions are on Kofi. No need to DM me. After payment, you can send a reference and, and text of what you want as a comment. Thank you. And then they'll make a short video of those asking questions about how or why this is happening. But the short explanations on the tweet, it really is just the fact that I post art with an MS Paint toolbar in it. And yeah, he actually made a response video answering questions about what had happened. And I'll play a small portion of it here, but I recommend you check out their entire video listen to his entire story okay um if you're here because of my tweet that said i've been doxxed over ms paint toolbar then you might be wondering if this is real because <laughs> i got a lot of comments of people asking me if you know this is fake or if there's something else to it because you know just over fucking toolbar it's just unbelievable and all well, the short answer is no there's really nothing else to it it's just the fucking toolbar that people are upset with uh probably because they think i'm showing off or that it's just not high quality enough or that it ruins the art um <laughs> i don't know <laughs> some people think i i really don't know what some people think when they see this but this is a short answer there's really nothing else to it people are just mean and doing this because well whatever but if you want the long answer and more context to it, you might want to stay a little longer. And if you want to watch Hiki's entire video, like I said, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. But from what I can tell based on recent tweets is that despite all the constant harassment that he's been getting and the threats and other scary stuff, there have been a lot of people who have been very supportive of his artwork. And, you know, he's been getting a buttload more commissions. And because of that, he's using that money on medication and supporting his family. You know, he had recently posted a photo of some old merch that he made when he was 12 and people liked it so much he decided to remake it and sell it as a shirt which you can now buy and uh people are buying it pretty cool like i said ms paint has become an entire aesthetic like it literally it's in fashion it's in like lore videos for some vtubers i've noticed it's in like overlays and stuff it's like a whole thing so i mean obviously he blew up from all this which is you know great for any artist but like at what cost Hey, so Mari in the future here. I originally was going to upload this video and literally the day I was going to upload it, I saw that Hiki had posted another tweet updating his situation after all the harassment. 
And this is the new um, n- news. And unfortunately, it's not very good. Apparently, Geeky was sent a package where it had dirty diapers or the threat saying, stop posting the toolbar. And then um, this person didn't, you know, they had like a throwaway address and it doesn't exist. And unfortunately, Geeky's address got leaked about a month ago after that whole post about getting docs and everything else. And Geeky said this, my address got leaked about a month ago, but I took it down after a couple of days. They probably saw it before me because it was bookmarked. I'm moving, changing my legal name, and I'd anyways, so good luck. One, not calling the police for so many reasons. It's gonna take time and effort. My family is going to know about us. If my family knows about this, it'll be a big deal. I don't want this to be a big deal. They can send anything they want. It's never gonna have any actual dangerous items because of safety inspection on international packages. They also can't print call on my address because they're not from my country. I just turned 18. I don't know how real life works and I don't want to be bothered by calling a public service. I'll probably have to pay for investigations and I am severely socially anxious. They're not going to come at me physically or hack anything my address was leaked a while ago so no wonder they got it already took it down though and they probably saw before i did i just want to go on with my life if i receive more of these i'll just throw away again once i move it's going to stop great timing that my family decided to move a few weeks ago and um here geeky has said that he posted the comments that he remembered that was sent a few days ago not gonna say it was him because there's no evidence but come on to seem like he knew something was gonna arrive and this one said doxing's gonna be child's play compared to what's next anyways consider helping me move so hiki posted a his uh coffee for people to kind of help him move out of this terrible situation and it was even less humble than i thought oh my gosh this dude is so petty and in that little thing that he was sent um people thought that he was actually sent biohazard waste turns out it wasn't smelly and it wasn't actual like doo-doo it was just brown dye and just wow i just can't believe that this is still going on all the way from november 3rd it has been just over a month now it's kind of crazy that like i don't understand why people are still harassing this poor dude like it's just an ms paint tool bro bro get over it like the dude's just trying to make a living and drawing things he's passionate about and people on the internet are just really offended by it and i just think that's kind of sad you know like we don't have a lot of time here on this planet and it's just sad that so many people spend the majority of their precious time just harassing someone else because they feel like they have nothing better to do like it's just a toolbar bro get over it maybe learn how to draw yourself or you know something else that's more productive instead of constantly harassing and trying to dox people people on you know the old burb app like i just i can't believe like this is happening I, I honestly don't know what to think about this so um let me know what you think because i'm curious if anyone here draws an ms paint and if you do i mean hey that's pretty cool like how you know how is the ms paint aesthetic perceived in the art community like is this really a thing or is this just some funny stuff that i just read on a wiki page randomly and i'm just making conclusions here because i honestly struggled trying to find information on how the general art community actually feels about ms paint artists and if they consider it to you know to be shitty art or if it's like actually just a bunch of trolls who randomly decided to attack this 18 year old so um yeah, that's the story of an artist getting docs for showing the MS Paint toolbar. And um, this is a subscribe button that you should click to support my channel because I make videos in the void like this whenever I am completely sleep deprived and I'm bored because I have too much free time on my hands. Clearly, I am the target demographic for this kind of nonsense on Twitter. And uh, here's a coupon for 10% off on Gamer Subs to keep yourself awake after listening to all this bullshit I just fed you. And here is a link to my discord join it anyways thanks so much for watching and um go get some rest or you know watch another video okay bye